Hey there, Baxter Bladers. Welcome to the channel. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, something very special came in the mail today. Uh, a lot of people are getting them. A lot of things are happening. I've been waiting months for this. Got another blade from Rosecraft Blades here. I picked this one up from Traditional Pocket Knives. Austin Jackson. Very cool, very cool guy. Um, this is... Let's see if I can focus in here. I don't know if you can see that. The Beaver Creek Barlow. RCT006. Been waiting for this one for months. Ever since I saw the pictures. Thoroughly impressed. I have the black gloves on today to avoid uh, fingerprints. See the beautiful bourbon bone, a lot like the Clinch River. It's a Barlow, of course. This is uh, the Rosecraft that's etched on the bolster here. Let's see if you can see that. There you go. Magnificent knife. Zero gapping whatsoever. Perfectly centered blade. Let's just do a slow drive by so you can get a look at this awesome bone. I like that they don't have a shield on this one. Nice clean look. Pins are nice and flush. A lot of character in that bone. Um, Beaver Creek Barlow, the handle length is uh, 3.5 inches. The blade length is 2.9 inches. A nice swedging at the top here. Nice nail nick. Uh, full length. 8.4 inches. Weighs 2.9 ounces. Uh, the blade thickness. Hmm, it says uh, 0 0.09. This looks a little thicker than that. Maybe they mean down here. Kind of, Kind of almost feels like a hollow grind. Not sure. It's probably just a flat grind. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, D2 steel, the blade. Very impressed. Nice snap. They said pulls about a seven. I'd say it's six and a half. Maybe six and a half in the beginning and seven at the end. I'm not an expert on these things. Just magnificent. Um, I'm very happy. Oh, what do these go for? $53.99? $54.99? I think $54.99. Let's do a little size comparison here. Uh, let's start with uh, let's start with another Barlow. Bear and Son Beer Tender. This is more of an amber bone. This is a bourbon bone here. Guess I could put another one out here. Clinch River Swayback. They're both considered bourbon bone. This one seems like it's a little bit more orange to it. Um, let's try to compare it to a... Uh, Boker Trapper. This is considered brown jig bone. It almost looks peachy to me. Some lights it looks like uh, orange. This is a tree brand, high carbon stainless. Let's uh, compare it to more traditional Barlow. How about the Arthur Wright and Son? Stagbone, very similar size here. 
very similar size. I do like this, uh, would it be a sheep's foot blade compared to the traditional more clip blade? Uh, did kind of a short review of this knife. Anyways, we're talking about the Beaver Creek Barlow. Very impressed. Just wanted to get a video out there. I don't. I haven't seen anybody really post any videos yet. Thrifty Knifty posted one on the Lasahuchi or Lusahachi Jack, excuse me. Uh, and that one's gonna come up next. Oh, let's do a comparison with that. One second here. There you go. Another bourbon bone. I'd consider it a Barlow. The bolster's not as long as the Beaver Creek. I'm going to do a review of this next. Nice dragon scale. Uh, jigging here. Okay. Uh, that's it. Thank you very much.